Yeah. Lovely. So I'll just get that rolling. And let me just grab a couple of uh, props should I need them. Okay. Bro. Okay. So we're up and running. We're up and running here. Um, so Martin, if you want to, you know, just dive straight into, uh, it'd be great to if you could give an introduction, you know, of yourself and, and what you do at Concerning that's um, Malaria No More, and uh, and what you spoke about at the summit and the Power of One campaign. If you just want to fire into all that, that'd be fantastic. Sure. So I'm I'm Martin Edlin. I'm the CEO of Malaria No More. I'm a founding member of the organization. Uh, we launched in December 2006 at the White House Summit on Malaria, and you know as uh, as the name implies, uh, we're pretty hell-bent on accomplishing a singular goal. We want to stop people dying from this preventable and treatable disease, stop a child dying every 60 seconds from this uh, And so uh, we do that in a variety of ways. Uh, we certainly do it through, through partnership. We do it through uh, raising the, the clarion call, letting people know that malaria represents one of the best humanitarian uh, opportunities in the world today. Um, uh, we work. We do a lot of innovative work with uh, communications companies. We've partnered here in the U.S. with American Idol for a number of years running. Been first movers on technologies like Twitter, some of the mobile payment platforms, etc. Um, a second piece of what we do is then leverage that engagement of, of the public for advocacy. You know, the, the malaria fight um, is one of a few examples of diseases where we have a known set of tools. Uh, you know, mosquito nets, rapid diagnostic tests, uh, effective treatments, and targeted use of spray. If you use those four things in concert, you're going to stop people dying. And so uh, that's a great story to tell the government. So we focus a lot on governments in the U.S., the U.K., Japan, elsewhere, mobilizing money. And we've seen in the last decade about a thousand percent growth in global funding. Okay. For Lastly, we do life-saving work and education on the ground. Um, and so we can we can talk more about that, but we're in, uh, we've done programs in about 14 countries. We have active um, programs and personnel in, in five countries in Africa. Um, so I'm happy to dig into any particular topic. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you mentioned the power of technology um, and being sort of at the cutting edge of that to sort of maximize the opportunities. How important has that been? Um, you know, obviously within the U.S., you're an international charity. Uh, how difficult is it to engage with the general public about um, an issue that isn't just restricted um, to the US, it's largely in Africa. So how, how do you gain engagement and, and, and gain traction really with people? Yeah, and technology is a, a key part of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's in some ways uh, that's that's our, our hill to climb is the fact that uh, there isn't a natural constituency for this uh, disease in the US. Um, at the same time, uh, living here in the U.S., we enjoy the benefits every day of malaria-free life. You know, we, yeah. we had a pretty severe malaria problem in the United States until 1951, when it was when it was eliminated. Um, you, you can actually go back and watch old Disney cartoons where they have the seven dwarves um, doing things like dipping their bed nets in insecticide and <laughs> spraying uh, pools of standing water. You know, because you had to educate the public about the fight domestically, uh, you know, in the 20s and 30s and beyond. Um, so, so we have to be creative. Uh, we have to uh, leverage the fact that it's a through communications tool, through social, mobile, web. Um, it's a shrinking world. Uh, it's one where information, um, you know, moves instantly. Uh, oftentimes through informal networks before it even moves through kind of the uh, the, the news channels and, and where we've been trained to expect. Yeah. Uh, so very early on at Malaria No More, we took on the challenge of how do we create the context? Uh, how do we help people to uh, understand that this is a, a unique opportunity? We uh, early early on here in the office, we would hang up one word per page: massive, urgent, global crisis. And we just needed to establish that message for people. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and when uh, at heart, people are good and they want to they want to help where their efforts are going to matter. Uh, and this is a place where it where it really does. You know, a child dying every minute from a mosquito bite is absurd. It's totally unacceptable. And, and if you can give people the right information in the right 
the way um, can convince them to be involved. So we've been fortunate to work with a variety of media partners. Um, certainly one of the landmark examples was taking America's most popular uh, television platform in the history of, of the country, American Idol. Um, and it was our founder, Peter Chernin, who went to them and said, I want the U.S. to know about this. Um, and so what they came back with was American Idol Gives Back, a platform for malaria and a variety of other causes. Uh, but one of the things that we, we did was to, to work with um, some, some really creative teams to, to tell this story. And, and one of the stories they captured was of uh, going and finding a malaria case and racing a child to the clinic and, and actually not arriving in time. Uh, and so for people to realize that you know, a child, your child can spike 106 degree fever and within 24 hours die of this. I really traumatized that, brought it to life for, you know, a network audience of probably 35 million people here in the U.S. So it's through efforts like that, through ongoing work with American Idol stars, we've been able to move the needle from around 25% of Americans who knew anything about malaria to now over 50% who recognize yeah. it as a massive uh, global, global challenge. Uh, we just launched a new campaign yesterday. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the next the next phase of that for us, and it's really built on mobile to mobile communication in Africa and here in the U.S. And and there again, we had uh, a lot of celebrity support. Uh, people like uh, Carly Rae Jepsen and Jonah Hill and uh, Forrest Whitaker and others out there, kind of talking about the campaign and and sharing yeah. it. Uh, and it's. You know, we've, we've tried to boil it down to the bare essentials. It's a campaign called The Power of One, where every dollar that you donate buys and delivers, I have the props right here, <laughs> a life-saving full course of malaria treatment, Brilliant. as well as a rapid diagnostic test that tells you in the space of minutes if you have the malaria parasite in your system. So it, it's, uh, there's, there's a lot of hyperbole around fundraising, but this is an instance where it's actually true. One dollar buys and delivers these life-saving tools. and yeah through the magic of mobile, um, through some really great partnerships on the ground, we're able to show you that impact. Uh, and uh, first country is Zambia, where we're trying to fill a three million, uh, a need of three million child treatments over the next two years. And we're working with the Zambian government with another partner, PAP Masepa, and 500 community health workers who are reporting on a weekly basis on, you know, dumb phones, you know, this was my five-year-old Nokia phone from when I lived in Senegal. But in Zambia, they're working on these and reporting on a weekly basis the number of people that walk into the clinic, are tested, the results, and whether they were treated for malaria. So we can send that information in real time. We can show people the impact they're having. And uh, we're off to a great start. Uh, people seem to be responding. Brilliant. And with um, the Power of One campaign, you mentioned you've got some celebrity support behind it, which is fantastic. How do you cross the border between um, slacktivism and activism? So that's something that's really uh, a big issue at the moment online with sort of generating support and campaigns. How do you sort of bridge that gap? Yeah, it's it's actually a question that uh, was at the genesis of this campaign. You know, <clears throat> we talk, and it's funny, I was just, uh, as I was putting some messaging out there around Power of One, people were liking the messages. And I wrote back saying, I like your like, I'd love your dollar. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we talk a lot about uh, mass meaningful action. How do you make um, you, how do you make your actions count? Uh, and the, the Power of One campaign is is built to do just that. Uh, we tried to take the value proposition down to its simplest possible form: uh, a dollar, literally saving a child's life. Yeah. Um, but then you've got to do a few other things to, to help people get over the, the hump. You've got to get massive distribution, you know, it's got to be ubiquitous, it's got to be easy. Um, you know, one of the challenges that we had to solve for was, it, you know, people don't want to enter their credit card information every time they're going to give, especially a low amount like a dollar. You certainly don't want to uh, have to deal with credit card fees at the level that you uh, in a environment you're asking someone for a dollar. We are, you know, we're looking for people to give multiples of a dollar. Uh, but nonetheless, um, technology can help to solve those problems. One of the, so I, I spoke on Sunday at the Mashable Social Good Summit, and uh, my talk was a slightly broader thing, uh, how we can make malaria the first disease beaten by mobile. 
and there there's a whole story to tell of the mobile revolution on the ground in Africa. But what we're really trying to do with this campaign is marry the mobile revolution in Africa with the one in our own lives uh, and our own you know our own mobile phones that are so much at the center of, of the way we live, eat, work, and socialize now. Um, so. Uh, one of the announced one of the partnerships that, that we promoted was uh, a mobile payment app that's really catching fire here in the U.S. It's called Venmo, uh, and Venmo is what the future of of payments looks like. In fact, there's a lot of speculation in the press now that PayPal may buy them um, <laughs> as they're seeing that this is such an innovation. Uh, you know, whereas in normal social media, it's really hard to bring money into the picture because you're just liking and tweeting and yeah. uh, posting and so forth. Venmo is built on an inherently um, financial structure. So it, it started as a way, and I'll see if I can get in here and, and actually show it. Uh, it started as a, a way for friends to pay each other money. If you went out for pizza and you owed somebody $5, uh, you could, you know, you had an app that was connected to your, either your debit card or your bank account. And so you could uh, quickly send them the money with no transaction fees between friends. Um, and so, because it was done between friends, people were comfortable posting. They were comfortable saying, you know, thanks for the pizza, you know, great to talk about whatever. And so you see as people make these transactions, they're literally, you know, including messages about what they did together and where they were. Uh, and so it, it brings, it, it builds social on top of a financial platform. So what, what we're doing with Power One Can is it's actually, um, I stood up on stage and we sent everyone in the crowd a dollar, and so they're one click away from uh, clicking that and passing that dollar on to malaria no more. Uh, and when you can make giving that easy, so I'm I'm about to send a dollar uh, to to malaria no more. Um, when you can make giving that easy, then you can really change the game. Yeah. Um, so that's those are some of the kind of innovations that we're working with, and they're they're obviously going to have implications well beyond. Um, you know, malaria no more and, and malaria, but um, you've got to relentlessly innovate, uh, and, and that's what we're trying to do with this campaign and, and with the broader effort to uh, to eradicate this disease. Fantastic. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with it, Martin. It looks really exciting, and we'll be keeping a very close eye on it. Thank you for your time, and uh, and take care. Thanks very much. Great to talk with you. Thank you. Martin, I'll just um, I'll pause the recording there. Thank you very much for your time. It's really interesting to know um, about everything that you're doing.